Here we have an HP ProBook 6560B which has a locked BIOS and in this way we are not able to install an operating system so we are going to unlock it here. If you want more explanation about how to get the BIOS image from the chip into your computer please check out my other video linked below. I will skip the reading, verifying and writing to a file of the BIOS data for those who have seen my previous video already and subscribed to my channel. And to those, thank you so very much for subscribing, it is much appreciated. Removing the bottom of the laptop by pushing the sliders is a very nice design. Removing the back cover to access the BIOS chip is a different story. There are many many screws and since the BIOS chip is located below this plastic part of the back cover, you could even consider cutting this out to be able to connect the clamp of your programmer. I didn't, but after struggling for a long time to remove the back cover, it started to become a more and more attractive solution. So we connect the clamp of our programmer to the chip like so, read the contents, verify the contents, write it to a file and open the file in a hex editor. So now for the actual password removal. After opening the BIOS file into our hex editor, we search for the string BIOS user 00. Every user entry ends with the sequence AA557F, so we look for the last appearance of that sequence and replace everything before it with FF. Then we save the data to a file. Then we read the unlocked file into our AS programmer software. We erase our BIOS chip. And we write the unlocked BIOS to the chip. So now we have access to the BIOS. After that we reset the security data in the BIOS to its factory defaults. We set the other data in the BIOS to its factory defaults. And we have unlocked the BIOS and are ready to give this sturdy large laptop a new lease of life. I hope this video will help you unlock your own BIOS. If anything is unclear, please watch my other video where I removed the BIOS password from an HP ProBook 440G6, which is a bit more elaborate and shows a bit more about how to use the programmer. Please do share your results in the comments so everybody can benefit from your findings. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. Please like and subscribe if you already haven't and I hope you will join me in the next video. Bye then!